Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. On this video, we're gonna go over a few new guns that I added to the collection. Um, we're gonna start with the AUG. Some of you are probably familiar with this from Call of Duty. This is actually probably the most annoying meta besides the DMR. Um, I actually ran that meta, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but, ugh, I'm super excited to have this. I'm probably gonna get it Cerakoted, kind of like my, ugh, my Tavor here, which is also a bullpup. We had this Cerakoted by Paladin Coatings. Um, this is actually based from a Call of Duty skin if you're familiar with them. This is what it kind of looked like before and this is after. So we're gonna have to do something really cool with the AUG. Okay, here we go. This is actually a 16 inch barrel. Um, it doesn't really look that long. It looks pretty short. That's because the barrel's all the way back here. You got your bolt back here into the stock. Your trigger's up here and your mag is actually back here. So it's kind of weird for me. Um, I'm not very familiar with the bolt pup platform. I'm used to the AR. So I'm used to, you know, dropping my mag by my trigger and checking to see up here if the bolt is clear when actually it's right next to your cheek. So it's just something really odd to get used to. Um, I've never broken this down, so pretty excited to break this down and see how it works. So far, this is all I got. That's it. <laughs> so we got some learning to do with this, but I'm really excited. Before we move on to the next gun, I want to give a thank you to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. There's the app. Yeah, freeze. Stop whatever you're doing and take a breath. Don't waste your life. It's time you've made some changes. Have you taken down the Demon Lord yet? Crushed an ice golem? Ascended the Doom Tower? What about fighting against millions of players in the arena? Well, now you can get your life in order because it's time to raid. Raid Shadow Legends has a lot of really badass bosses to encounter. One of them that I want to talk about is Princess Avila. She's super badass. Um, she actually harvests souls to maintain her dark power. She became so powerful, they had to lock her away in a tower. The only way to defeat her is to strip all the amount of insane buffs she has, because the more buffs she has, the more damage she does. And well, you don't want your soul to be harvested. One of my favorite things about the game is collecting champions. I love opening the shards and coming across new champions. One that I just got is a badass female orc shaman. She has red hair, super awesome. She has a skull on her shield. She has a freaking human skull on her hip. And not only does she look super badass and totally kicks ass, but she's wearing freaking high heel boots while doing it. So what is new in Raid? This month, Raid's got a jam-packed schedule of events to kick off the summer. And as always, they got a bunch of new champions that are about to come out. And every single one of them looks absolutely badass. I mean, just look at these guys. There's also a new rotation to the Doom Tower, which I definitely need to finish this month. So I'm going to be trying to summon all of the new champions to see if they can help me reach to the top. Raid's always got a lot going on, and this month is no different. But don't wait around and don't miss out. If you would like to get a big head start in Raid, click the link in the description below or scan the QR code on the screen. If you're new to Raid, you'll get a new epic hero for free. You'll also get 200 thousand silver, one XP boost, one energy refill, and one ancient shard. You can summon a badass champion as soon as you get in game. You'll find your extra rewards here in your inbox for the next 30 days only. And it's that easy. Just click the link in the description and I'll see you in game. So previously in other videos, um, I know we did touch base on the CC Scorpion and why I purchased it. It was one of my favorite um, secondary firearms in Call of Duty. Um, that's the whole reason why I got it, honestly. But this one is completely stock. I haven't done anything to it, so I ended up getting a, another one. So with this one, um, it is suppressed. It's integrally suppressed by Innovative Arms, so you can't really tell. Usually when you look at suppressors, they're on the outside of the muzzle. You usually just screw them on or whatever, but this one is actually inside. If you look through the handguard here, you can actually maybe see a piece of it, but that's about it right there. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, totally different from this one. Uh, you completely replace this whole entire piece. It com comes apart and you take all this one off on here. You can see the difference, oh my God, without me freaking breaking it. And have a folding stock from Sylvan Arms. It's 
pretty easy to break down, makes it uh, compact and easy to carry. Just pop it open, you're good to go. We also have an EOTech on here. Some of you guys, Call of Duty, might be familiar with it. I have a couple pieces from Norseman Workshop and one of the newest ones is actually this Viking Axe. He hand makes them. Um, I actually have this on my, I'm not trying to flick you off or anything, but we're matching. This is a Dagas Norse symbol. Try not to cut myself and talk to you at the same time I'm putting the sheath back on. Anyway, for those of you wondering what it means, it means a new day, a new beginning, uh, and uh, overall just balance. He makes awesome, awesome stuff. You should totally check him out. I know it's not a gun, but it was just there, so I figured, and it's new, so I was talking about the new guns that I got, so mine as well. Oh, here's one we haven't talked about. This is a Staccato C. This is, a, well, technically a 2011, but um, I haven't shot it very much. And I feel like if you have a gun collection, you need a 1911, 2011 of some sort. So I think this is the only one I have actually. Yeah, huh, probably change that. Put that on my list of guns to get. Anyway, Staccato C, it's very beautiful. I like it a lot. Since we're talking about pistols, we're already in this general area. This is actually my very first firearm that I carried. I actually still do carry it. I love wheel guns. This is a Smith & Wesson 38 revolver. Even has a little A stippled into the grip. I love this gun. This is my very first carry gun. Um, this is kind of one of those guns that I can throw into my hoodie or something where I'm like, crap, I'm not wearing a belt. I'm not wearing anything that I can carry my Glock 43 in. Um, but that's gonna be a whole nother video. I wanna talk about what I carry and all that fun stuff. So since we touched on it. This is my Glock 43. I love carrying this gun just because of the slim profile and I wear tight clothes, so it's easier to conceal than you know something that's a little bit thicker. So moving on to my Barrett. I know you guys are, are familiar with our last video that we did of um, my gun collection. We talked about the M82, but if you watched my video that I did with Clint from Classic Firearms, we actually gave away an M107, and that is, now I have two. Can I afford to shoot them both? Absolutely not. But do I need them both? Absolutely. This one's a little bit different. You probably can't really tell. Oh, the barrel's a little bit shorter. I'm kind of in the way. and. Don't mind the mess, I'm about to move. So uh, I got boxes that I'm starting to pull stuff away. So um, I'm not really that much of a sloppy person. Uh, but this one has a, a Neotech on there as well. And ow, what am I sitting on? Oh, I'm sitting on another Barrett, <laughs> except this is a Gokun one, this is a little mini version. This is actually the only Barrett I could afford many years ago when I worked, when I was working with Gokuns. Um, so, Thanks to them for, you know, giving me something to look forward to. And now I have two of them. So there we go. So this has to stay here. This is the beginning. <laughs> this is the end. I think that's about it as far as guns that I may have not touched on before and guns that I added to my collection. Um, I did get one new thing. There are a couple new things. Got some couple ballistic helmets. One, uh, from Hardhead of Veterans, actually, they sent me a couple of them. This one's multi cam black, so this one's way cooler. It's, it's a little naked right now. Um, helmets need to have nods, obviously, and I look ridiculous right now, I know, but I wanna show how easy it is, how it just snaps in place. All right, there we go. So it just snaps in place really easily. It doesn't come off, but if you just pull on this little tab here. Ta-da! I also get this new, oh! Okay, so with all my traveling that I do, um, I miss being able to stream on Twitch. Twitch is something I do almost every night at 9 p.m. Eastern when I play video games. It's what I love to do. So now, when I go out of town or when I'm doing YouTube content, I can take you guys with me. So this is a basically a computer in a bag, and it runs through cell phone modems, so I'm able to live stream anything that I do live to my Twitch channel. I'm really excited. I have yet to do it. I just got this. Oh, it's my little gun bunny sticker. 
or patch, I mean. That's a wrap for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Big shout out to Raid Shadow Legends again for sponsoring this video. I know I haven't been posting a whole lot of content lately on YouTube. Life has gotten crazy. I'm about to move into the office. I just got my first home. We're about to move into that. We're doing some renovations. And yeah, I'll try to keep you guys updated with everything that I can. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you next time. Oh yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Ah, I just hit my elbow. <laughs>